Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for another travel vlog. Yes, we are on the move again during our epic January 2023 trip. We've had a great couple of days here in Sydney. It's been amazing, hasn't oh, it? Oh, it's been so good. We've of, loved it. Of course, we went to Luna Park yesterday. That was amazing. So check out the vlog if you've not already seen it. Loads of on-ride footage as well. Now, we're going to be heading down to Melbourne shortly. However, first, we thought we'd give you a tour of our lovely accommodation here in Sydney. So we're actually staying at the view hotel and the actual view of our hotel room is fantastic oh it's great wait until you see this we thought we've got to show you it's got a great view of luna park um down towards Amazing. the harbour bridge it really is stunning um so yeah action pack vlog this one we're gonna start off with this room tour then we'll be up bright and early in the morning uh, to make our way down to melbourne airport it's gonna be about a 90 minute flight with jetstar um so not too bad uh and then yeah we thought we're not gonna drive this one we did the drive from the gold coast no didn't we? we'll fly this one yeah it was quite a long trip um, from the Gold Coast in the car, but we really enjoyed seeing the scenery it's along really the way. Good. Maybe in the future we'd do this one as a drive, but we thought this time we're going to fly uh, Jetstar Airways down to Melbourne. When we get there, we're going to be going straight to the other Luna Park. Um, it's actually older than this one down there in Melbourne and riding the second oldest roller coaster anywhere in the world. Oh, yeah, really excited for the scenic railway down there. We're also going to be visiting a park called Gumboya World as I'm well. I'm so excited for that park. Yeah, it's going to be great. So it's kind of like theme park, water park, and animal experience. Oh, all really together. Nice. Uh, so we're going to kind of carry all them journeys um, in this travel vlog for you all. We're going to be staying in some different accommodation along the way, so we'll cover all of that. And of course, we'll start off here with the view in Sydney. So here's a look at the bedroom just here then. So we've got a nice bed, which has been very comfortable. Yeah, it has been super comfy, which is nice. Yeah, you've got the bedside cabinets just there as well with the nice lamps on. And of course, the highlight of this room is behind the Charlotte view. over here. The view itself. Got a nice little chair here as well to look at and appreciate it. Because look at this. Wow. What a view looking out over Sydney here in Australia. In fact, you've got Luna Park down there. I spoke about this in the blog from down there yesterday, showing you that our hotel looked over it. But I'm gonna zoom in down there for you now just so you can appreciate that look at that view of the park just there. It looks tiny from up here, doesn't it? But actually, there's a lot packed in there. Obviously, it's not a huge park, but you get a really nice view looking down from here. So you can see off to the left there with the red supports and the yellow track. That's Big Dipper, that Intamin single rail. You've got the drop tower, which was ridiculously forceful. That's just heading to the top over there as well. And of course, you've got the boomerang just down here. And yeah, park of two halves. We really enjoyed Luna Park. And of course, with the backdrop of the Sydney Harbour Bridge just there. You can't see the Opera House from here, because that's just behind the buildings off to the left. But I tell you what, this view of Luna Park and across to Sydney is amazing, isn't it? We've had a good explore around the city as well. And so stay tuned for those vlogs coming up over on the Sandbrook Adventures. Absolutely stunning. What a view and looking out at all the boats just here. We've had a really good explore around, which has been nice. Yeah, we went to the top of the Sydney Tower Eye. That'll be coming up on the other channel. We've been around the Opera House and had a look there. And also as well, had a walk over the iconic Sydney Harbour Bridge and checking out the harbour as well. So all that will be coming up over on the Sandbrook Adventures. We have what a view, like this is a beautiful city, it really is. And the sun's come out for us today. Oh, it's a single really nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's going around there, Big Dipper. Fantastic. What a great view. Let's take you for a look around the room. Here we go then. Nice big bed like we said. Then we've got a little desk area. <laughs> And another desk area here with a chair. There we go. Nice big TV. Yeah, I like having somebody just to sit and do the editing as yeah, well. <laughs> so this TV's actually got Netflix on it, so I managed to log in and last night we watched Scooby Doo. We thought it'd be very fitting, especially with us being on the Scooby Doo yeah, coaster so we last week. Last night, we really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, which was great. We're seeing some great accommodation this trip though, yeah, aren't we? It's been really nice. We thought, you know, with it being such a big trip, we want to stay in some really nice places exactly, this time. Yeah, which has been lovely. Yeah, it has. Yeah, each hotel's been really nice and unique in its own way, and we've still got more to see. Got some muffins down here. There's my oh, nice so mug. Nice. There we go, got a nice Luna Park mug that I purchased there. That fan's coming handy as well. You bought that for Florida and that's yeah, coming out quite that nice. EBay, yeah, muffins are nice. <laughs> Fantastic. But yeah, this is quite quirky over here, isn't oh, it? Let me just go in. There we go. That's it. You see Charlotte just in there. <laughs> see you later. Bye, Sean. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny, that, isn't it? Hello. There you go. Like, it's quite an interesting idea, like putting in a window. Looking into the bathroom just there. I've never really seen one quite like that before, but we'll take you for a little look in here. There you go, nice big mirror just up there with the lights in as well. Toilet down there, and yeah, view looking out 
into the bedroom. There you go, so you can be on the toilet and looking out there across to Sydney if you really want it to be. There you go. And there's a look at the basin and the shower area just over here. Shower is fantastic, really powerful inside here. Well, there you go, so this is the first of a few room tours that are going to be coming up in this travel vlog for you all. As we make our way down to Malawan, that's the thing, Australia is a big country, you know, so we're going to be doing a lot of travelling round. What we got just over here then, Charlotte? It's full of stuff. Yeah, and it's not free. Yeah. <laughs> Charlotte's like, is it free? No, it's Water, not. Mini bar. Cheese. Just in there. <laughs> Bottle of wine. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It costs about $50, probably, that. Yeah, probably. And then you've got all your wardrobes here, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, it's got some older furnishings, I'd say, with yeah. the pine effects in here, but it's nice and clean. There you go, it's nice, I like it. Of course, air conditioning and free Wi Fi as well. What more could you want? Really good as well. Yeah, I, I've heard a lot of things about Australian internet being a little bit slower than other parts really of the world, good, but yeah. we've been, I mean, as you can see from the vlogs going on, it's been, good. It's, been uh, it's always great. It's always a bit of a worry for me coming to these places. I really want good internet. Whoa, oh, look at that. That's it, we'll leave Charlotte there. <laughs> right, we do need a good night's sleep though, because we're getting up really early tomorrow. Well, the flight's at 8.20 from the airport, um, so we're going to be getting there on public transport, and then we're going to be making our way down to Melbourne. So we will see you all in the morning when we're making our way up to Sydney Airport, ready for our flight. While we're up bright and early then this morning, we set our alarms for five o'clock so we get to the airport in plenty of time. Oh, such a deep sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go, we're making our way down to Melbourne. We are indeed. Leaving Sydney after oh, a great couple of days I here. Sydney, it's been lovely. Oh, it has, yeah, it's really quiet about in the morning, isn't it? Like you think, you know, like back home, even in London at like 5 a.m., there are a lot of people around, yeah. but we've got this train pretty much to ourselves just here. Let me just show you it a bit more detail. There we go. So you've got the upper level just up here. I know you all love seeing the public transport. What you can actually do with the seats is you pull that out and then it moves across somehow. I'm not too sure how to do it, but I saw someone do it the other day, which is cool. So if you want to face forwards or backwards, and obviously you've got all this down here. I mean, come on, this is what we need back home, right? Look at all this. All this seating, there we go. You don't really see people standing up that much unless it's by choice on these trains, you know. <laughs> but yeah, right, we're going to make our way up to the airport. We're going to be flying uh, once again with Jetstar, so we need to get checked in at the airport. We do indeed. Um, and then into our flight, which is going to be about 90 minutes. Yeah, and then we're going to pick up a higher car and make our way down to Luna Park. Hey, yeah, looking forward to it. Right, let's go. I'll tell you what, public transport here in Sydney is really easy. We made it here to the airport very that quick. Was really quick, easy journey. Yeah, and it took maybe what, 35, yeah, 40 minutes? Oh, we knew, which was good. Yeah, we just changed at the central station. And then come back to the airport. Yeah, so of course you've got the two stations here, one for domestic travel within Australia. Yeah, and obviously we've come here to the domestic terminals and make our way down to Melbourne. See how we get checked in? And let's fly down to Melbourne. Well, we made it through security here in Sydney Airport. And I'll tell you what, that was a really nice, easy journey this morning, which it is really great. It really was, which was good. That's a good thing as well about flying domestic internally. Uh, it means that, you know, you just come straight through, you no know, having to mess about your passports or anything like that. Uh, and obviously, when you're just carrying hand luggage like we are it's this even trip. More easy. Yeah, it is. I know we've had quite a few people asking us um, how we've been getting on with the hand luggage, and we've been all right. It's been absolutely we? fine. We did a wash earlier in the trip, so yeah. that's fine. Charles yeah. did a wash, there I we did go. did a wash. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, now it's really good yeah to be honest Sydney airport's quite nice quite yes. laid back uh, obviously you've got the international terminal as well um, but yeah the airport's really easy to navigate the transport getting here was fantastic and now we're about to board our Jetstar flight um, over to Melbourne so yeah it's gonna be about a 90 minute flight once we get there we're gonna be picking up a car and we're going straight down um, to go and visit Luna Park oh I'm looking forward to it yeah it's gonna be great and then of course onwards tomorrow then we're staying in some accommodation tonight and then to Gumboya World so we'll see what that's like but so yeah, we'll go and get on our flight and we'll see you down in Melbourne.
here we go then. So after a nice short flight, we've arrived here in Melbourne. It was a nice easy flight that was. I slept through the entire thing. Oh, and yeah, you had a nice window seat as I well. I like looking out of the window on a flight. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's to see what there is. Lovely. But here we go. We're going to go and pick up the hire car now. We've got this nice big Melbourne sign just here as well, which is cool. And yeah, we're going to hire the car. We've already got it for today and tomorrow. Now we could have easily got down to Luna Park in Melbourne on public transport. However, Gumboya World is a bit of a drive out and there's no public transport at all. So I thought it's going to be easier hiring a car. And what we're going to be doing then is flying to Perth, of course, in the next travel vlog. And we're going to be staying actually here at the Park Royal because we've got a very early flight. So literally got one night somewhere else by Gumboya World a night down here before we make our way to Perth. But yeah, gonna be heading over here to the sixth car rental booth. Obviously you've got loads of different hire car companies around the world. I tend to go whichever one's offering the best price at the time and the best value. Let's go. Here we go then. So we've just been to the sixth car rental booth to pick up the car for the next couple of days. And we had a free upgrade just here to a Mercedes Benz. Oh no, this is posh, <laughs> this is, look so, at this. I know, I'll tell you what happened. So basically we went there and it was really busy, wasn't it Charlotte? It was really busy And in we there. thought, hang on a minute. And then they were having to find cars from like other places and stuff to kind of bring them down. I think they've got like a car park further away from the airport. But they hadn't got cars ready yeah, and stuff. And cars are being washed and stuff. So anyway, we went there um, and then literally the lady was like, yeah, do, 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 just two of you, do you want a Mercedes Benz? It was like, yeah. So I only bought like a really cheap car. In fact, this car hire was like 75 <laughs> And then we got a Mercedes. We got upgraded to a Mercedes Benz. So yeah, I've never driven one of these before. So it's good fun. I mean, we'll show you the outside when we get parked yeah, we up will. down here. But uh, yeah, what a fancy car. <laughs> yeah, look at all the screen and everything down here. It's got like a fridge. Oh my God. Like, it's, in it, here. Yeah, it's crazy. Like a little refrigerator. And it all lights up. Yeah. Like, it, it's pretty fancy this is. I'll have to show you it at night. It's got like all built it's all lights. lighting. But yeah, so we're making our drive now down towards Luna Park. So obviously, yeah, we're going to be spending the day down there. That'll be the next vlog coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide. And yeah, we'll give you a bit of a car tour because this one deserves one uh, when we get parked up just down here. But yeah, it's going to be about a, what, 30 minute drive? We'll be there now. in 37 minutes. Yeah, so just under 40 minutes in total from the airport. But I tell you what, the Charlotte, this car has got power. Yeah. It's a shame we're not on the German Autobahn right now. Oh no, like, yeah. He's got some real power. You don't have to press the accelerator much. But uh, yeah, it was just working out how to start this thing as well. Yeah, because obviously, you have to do it like by like the indicator. Yeah, it's not on the indicator. It's got reverse, neutral, and park, and drive just on here um, instead of having a gear stick, which I find really weird. So yeah, because it's like. There's yeah. nothing here. There's nothing like here at all, which is very strange. But yeah, it's a nice drive, very comfortable, I'll tell you that. Here we go, travelling in style, Charlotte. And we yeah. don't even know it. <laughs> right, we'll see you when we get down here by Luna Park. Top Gear here on Theme Park Worldwide, except this time, I know nothing about cars. There we go. <laughs> Welcome, look at this. This is our Mercedes Benz just here. Look at this, there it's a lovely go. car. I can't believe it, like 70 quid for a couple of days to hire this. I know. There you go. What, I don't know what model it is or anything. I have no but idea. There you go, here's the car. It's nice though. Isn't it, it is nice. There you go, look at this. I've never driven a Mercedes Benz before. Really spacious, like a big boot just here as well. There you go, it's nice big boot. Big. It's quite abrupt how it opens. It is, yeah. And normally with a boot, you have to slam them down your road with this, you just go. And then the number plate sort of flips a bit. <laughs> it's fancy though, but here we go. Can I have a look at this? Five doors? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be a, a car show person or not? There Maybe. And here's a look at the uh, the interior just here. There you go. Look at that. It's quite nice, isn't it? Let me just power it up for you, show you all the uh, nice display just here. There we go. Oh, we haven't got the key in. There we go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Yeah, let's start her off. Hey, there we go. That's it. So obviously you don't have to actually put the key in, you just need it in the car because it was out there in the little glove box part. It's quite advanced because there's quite a lot of buttons here. I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. However, what you actually do, obviously there's no gear stick or... It's all done on here. It's like done on here. So you've got drive, 
neutral, reverse, park, and it's all done. It's quite hard to understand when <laughs> yeah. you used to drive them with the manual. Yeah, just don't know, but yeah, it's a fancy car. Come and have a look at the inside. All the modern features just in here, and yeah, it's even got like the built in screen with the reverse parking and everything. It does it all for you? There you Lovely. go. Really fancy, isn't it? Traveling style. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. absolutely fantastic. What a beast. I didn't think I'd be driving that this trip. Well, here we go then. We're all parked up down here at St Kilda. And yeah, Luna Park is located just around the corner. Um, so yeah, we'll keep on with this travel vlog and pick it up a little bit later on after we've been into the park. But yeah, I tell you what, look at that. It's a beauty. It's a beast. It is a beauty. That's the thing though. Sometimes they make these things a bit too overcomplicated, yeah, don't they? You know. <laughs> it took us a while just in the parking garage to decide, yeah, didn't I it, know, what to do. To oh, but here we go. What a car. And we'll pick you all up later on. We're making our way to our hotel. Well, we're back in the car after an awesome day down at Luna Park in Melbourne. Great location down there, some fantastic views in that park as well. And yeah, I've really enjoyed it. That vlog will be next coming up here on Theme Park Worldwide as our Australia trip continues. But yeah, we enjoyed it, didn't we, Charlotte? Yeah, we had a really good day. Yeah, we're just making our way now down to our accommodation tonight because obviously we're going to be making our way to Gumboya World that's also going to be coming up on the channel. And uh, yeah, I thought with the travel vlog, we kind of show the accommodation and these journeys. Obviously the Mercedes-Benz, <laughs> a bit of Top Gear earlier on. Um, yeah, we're making our way just under an hour's drive now to our accommodation, which is right near Gumboya World. Now, I mentioned this earlier on, but in terms of public transport to get down here, when I was looking, it said it was going to take quite a few hours. Then I looked at the price of Uber and thought, wow, we can get a car hire for a couple of days, be easy to get around, bag stories, that sort of thing. Um, so I thought, yeah, we'll just hire this car. Um, because, yeah, it looks like it's a little bit further out. So what we're going to be doing is staying at a hotel right Right near the park and then it means we can have a bit of a lie in and go straight to the park in the morning lovely yeah it opens from 10 o'clock i think gunboy world um so yeah we're not going to be up too early or anything because it was an early start once this morning it was uh, to make our way down here but yeah it's a nice drive this car charlotte it is it's nice and it smooth it's really nice but yeah we're just continuing on down here and we will show you our hotel where we're going to be staying tonight <laughs> Here we go then, we're all parked up at the hotel and look at that gorgeous sky just there. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it, tonight? Oh, so nice. So we're staying in Pakenham tonight, yeah, just here. Nice. At the Mercure Hotel, Pakenham. It looks pretty new, this does just oh. here. Got a really good deal on this hotel room as well. So yeah, let's go and get checked in and we'll show you our room. Here we go then, well we've made it into our room, finally. Yeah, we have indeed. <laughs> it's a hotel that isn't staffed. So there's literally nobody on reception, so we had to call up to get the keys and locked out of some sort of box. Yeah, there was a box on the side, not even by the front entrance, on the side of the there's hotel. There's literally no staff and there's a box that you have to go Yeah, to. and then my key like dropped down, they gave me a code on the it phone, really the key good. dropped down. Very strange. I know. I've just been chatting with some bloke outside who said this hotel is literally brand new. It does feel quite new, it smells fresh, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it really does, but um, yeah, this hotel room was like pretty cheap as well, like it wasn't too much. I think it was like £60 for the it's night, really something like that. Here we go. Oh, look at this in Pakenham. Very quiet around here. I can see now why there's not really public transport so much down to Gumboya World. Um, yeah, just staying here for one night. Yeah, Charlotte, on this massive bed. Look at that. Huge. Oh my God, that is massive. That's the biggest bed I've ever seen. Yeah, it's probably the biggest bed of the trip, that is, I'd say. Yeah. All the headboard just here, fancy lights. There we go, you got really the nice. sofa just over there as well. There we go, not really much of a view. You're just looking out of the car park here. But there we go, it's nice though, this. Fancy carpet. Obviously, you've got all this just over here as well, which is quite nice. There's the keys to the Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> Big TV just there as well. Air conditioning unit, free Wi Fi. I like the carpet. Carpet's lovely. Really fancy. There you go, a little fridge just down there. There's like extra blankets. Oh, look at here. this. I think it's crazy how there's nobody here though. The water isn't free. It's oh. $6. Who's going to charge me? There's nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Extra pillows, then you've got your usual hair dryer and stuff. There you go. Kettle just in there. Milk in there. Safe. Then we've got a big, spacious bathroom. There we go. Just in. No bath, unfortunately. It would have been even better if there was a bath across there. But yeah, this is fancy. This is. Look at that shower as well. I'm just fastened into the ceiling there as well yeah there you go yeah this is nice this yeah. is a gorgeous modern room isn't it 
Yeah. Really, mom. But yeah, I don't know how true it is, but the bloke I was chatting to, he says like it, it opened just over a week ago or something. So I'm it not does sure. Feel very fresh. And new but I booked it. it like three weeks ago, so I'm not it too knows. sure. But we'll maybe see what. Happens. Maybe, maybe yeah, something. yeah, possibly. I really don't know. But we're in. We got outside. It was a bit like, well, how do we get in? Yeah, know. You know. But uh, here we go. We're all sorted out in the end. Here's our room. Well, there we go, that's our travel day. And of course, we started off down in Sydney with that beautiful room looking out over the harbour. And we've ended the day in another beautiful room yeah, just this without is the lovely. view. I really like it. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice in here. That's the thing with the trip because we stayed in some pretty nice accommodation. We didn't want to stay like one night somewhere where what didn't look very good, you know? Uh, um, because, like I say, we stayed in some really budget accommodation in the past. And we really wanted this trip to be extra special, exactly. didn't we? You know, it's a once in a lifetime, or maybe you don't know when your next going to come out yes. here. It's definitely not going to be for a good few years coming this far again around the other side of the world so we wanted some nice accommodation but uh anyway we're gonna be making our way to gumboya world so stay tuned for that we'll get back in the mercedes yeah <laughs> have a little drive around still can't believe that when we rocked up and they were like um, oh you know we've got no, not really many cars left do you want a mercedes and we were just like yeah yeah crazy why the hell not uh, especially for the price that we pay like 70 quid I know. Oh, fantastic but uh there we go we'll see you all in the morning making our way to gumboya world well, good morning. We had a nice sleep there at the Mercure Packingham. Yeah, really nice hotel that is. You can tell that it was brand new, but that bed, oh, it was so good. I slept so well. Oh, yeah, it was really nice. Feeling really fresh. That's the thing with this trip. Even though we're well over two weeks into this now, um, and less than a week left now, actually, um, we're feeling really fresh, which is good. Yeah. You know, We've took the trip quite easy. We've had some sightseeing days along the way as well. Um, we've had some good sleeps in some nice hotels. Um, and also the park hours haven't really been too long either. Um, we, to be honest, um, we don't mind because it's been a bit more chilled out this trip, yeah. um, which is really good. But uh, anyway, talking of chilled out, we're going to Gumboya World today. Uh, so this is a mix between theme park, water park and animal park. Yippee! Uh, there's a bit of everything. What are you looking forward to, Charlotte? Seeing the koalas. <laughs> Koalas. So yeah, this is going to be a really nice day. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we're just making the drive down here now. It's basically a bit like a dual carriageway. This is the M1 that we're <laughs> on here. So yeah, the new class is the motorway, but uh, yeah, it's more of a dual carriageway. So we're already staying like just under 15 minutes away from the hotel we were at just um, down to Gumboya World. So we'll just uh, get a little bit more footage along the way and then it will be the end of this travel vlog. And then of course, we've got two great action pack vlogs on the way for you, uh, which will be coming up. Well, there we go. Nice, easy and short drive from our accommodation here to Gumboya World. And yeah, I'm really pleased that we did hire the car because it looks like public transport around here is pretty much not existent. It looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it does. Yeah, lots of lovely greenery all the way around. And then, of course, you've got the park just here. Uh, but there we go. That brings us to the end of this travel part of the trip. Obviously, we started off with that awesome room um, back in Sydney. Then we've made our way down here to Malvern, obviously to Luna Park and also here to Gumboya World. And those two vlogs will be the next two coming up here on the channel so stay tuned for that Luna Park uh, in Melbourne uh, riding a very iconic and old school wooden roller coaster in fact the second oldest in the world it was just an absolute classic it was great to get on it it was yeah you'll be seeing our reactions to that and more footage from around the park um, coming up in the next vlog and then of course here from Gumboya World as well it's actually our last couple of days really now here in oh, Australia I'm going to miss it so much oh two weeks we've had in Australia but we've still got another location to come to after this we'll be travelling over to Perth which is over on the other side of the country about a four hour flight uh, so we'll be covering that in the next travel vlog and then of course heading to a park called adventure world as well um, but there we go thanks very much for watching us here on theme park worldwide we'll see you in the next couple of vlogs from the melbourne area and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you all in the next vlog